while setting up security on a router is not really that much of a big deal, it can become kind of a pain to have to transfer all those wireless security settings, such as the SSID, the encryption, and especially the key to other workstations. I've already covered some ways to simplify that, such as using Windows Connect Now and the USB flash drive. But there's actually even a simpler method called Wi-Fi Protected Setup, which allows us to set up security on our router and all our devices by simply pressing a button or typing in an eight digit pin. Now there are a number of caveats to this method, but once you get past those, it's a simple matter of either pushing a button or typing in the pin and your SSID, encryption type, and security key are all generated automatically for you. So let's cover some of the basics of WPS. Now as I said it's designed to eliminate errors through mistyping and confusion using a simple pin or push button. The SSID, encryption type, and security key are all generated automatically. As far as security it uses WPA, WPA2 personal as a default. Now one of the caveats is all the devices that you are using must support WPS. Now the exception to this is Windows 7. Windows 7 actually has a Wi-Fi protected setup client built into it. So even if you pop in a network adapter which does not support WPS by virtue of the fact that it's plugged into Windows 7 workstation you'll be able to connect to your router using WPS. Now some of the technical details of WPS are you have a registrar and an enrollee. Typically the AP is always the registrar and the clients are the enrollees. There are situations however where you can actually configure your router from a client such as Windows Vista or Windows 7 in which case the computer is the registrar. Since WPS supports multiple registrars it's really not that important to get all hung up on which one's the registrar and which one's the enrollee. As long as you follow the simple workflows that I'm about to demonstrate for you, you shouldn't have a problem. So the basics of using WPS are pretty simple. On the router, you'll either be using a virtual or actual button on the router itself. If you choose to use the pin method, there will usually be an eight digit pin on the bottom of the router. In the case of the adapter or enrollee, pretty much the same thing. You'll either have a physical button on the device itself or you'll find a pin written on it somewhere. Now in the case of devices which did not enter the market as WPS certified, some manufacturers have created software which includes a pin and a virtual button you can use to associate with your router using WPS.